Hey, what's up everybody? Chad here from Grayscale Gorilla, and in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that's new in Studio 1.5. All right, so 1.5, we brought a really, really important feature that people have been asking for since the beginning, which is automatic updates. So this version will be the last version that you have to go to our website and download the EXE or the installers and run it, because after that, it's gonna automatically notify you when there's an update, and you can just hit update and it just does it. It's really pretty magical. Also, you have the ability here to go into the help menu and check for updates as well if you miss the notification or something. So the other thing you might notice over here on the left hand side is we have a new item here called playlists. So think of playlists as kind of like a Spotify or YouTube music playlist where you can curate and like store your plus assets any way you want. So you can kind of create little working playlists. So let me show you how that works. I have playlists here. I'm gonna hit the little plus icon and we're gonna name this one Fake Project. And we'll hit enter and you can see it created a playlist called Fake Project. Now maybe I wanna go into, I don't know, let's find some materials here. Let's grab some, let's grab some packaging materials. Maybe we wanna grab this cardboard and I can just right click into this asset and add it to that fake project playlist. And it tells me that it's been added. Maybe let's add this one. Let's jump back and maybe we go and grab a metal material and we say fake project. Maybe we want this one. Oh, and the other thing that we have as well is it remembers the last playlist that you created. So it has this like nice little quick link here. So you don't have to like go diving into different playlists. You can literally just add it to the last playlist that you created. So if I go into playlist now and I look at that fake project, we've got all those assets in there. And of course we can right click and we can remove them from that playlist. We can go to that collection to see more assets from that collection. We can also rename the playlist. So maybe we wanna change this to packaging project, hit enter, and we can do that as well. And you can create playlists for lots of different things. You can create them for the, your go-to assets that you use on every project. Maybe you have a project specific playlist with HDRIs and whatnot, because it works with all of our asset types. If I jump in HDRI, I can also add HDRIs to that playlist as well. So if I jump back down in there, we can see that HDRI lives there. And filters work in playlists as well. So let's say if we had like a bunch of items in this playlist, but we just wanna see maybe the HDRIs in there, we can go to our filter menu and say, okay, we only want to look at HDRIs in this playlist, which is really nice. So a lot of times what I do when I'm just kind of messing around, uh, I'll sometimes hit our randomize button, which is just going to randomly feed me different assets in our, in our entire collection to get inspired from. So then I can just like, oh, I like this one. I'm going to add this to my packaging project. And maybe I'll add this one to my packaging project. And you can kind of see how you can just kind of keep hitting this until you find something you like. Another cool feature with the randomizer button is that it now works with filters. So if I just want to see, if I only want to randomize materials, I can do that really, really easily and start to like get inspired for my, my new project. All right, so what else did we do? Okay, so we you might have noticed we kind of redesigned our asset cards, made them a little bit easier to see. They kind of lay out a little bit nicer, especially when it comes to things like HDRI collections. They tend to not feel as crowded. Um, the other thing that we did is we changed our asset detail pane. So before you would click on an asset and it might pop open that detail pane, which can kind of be annoying because it kind of takes you out of the flow, might move you in the grid or something. So we're trying this out. Let us know what you think. You can just double click an asset to see that detail uh, now as before it was a single click and it might interrupt your flow. So we think this is a better, better way to go to like double click an asset to get into that detail pane. Um, yeah, we also added two, finally, we added two uh, new little items over here on the left-hand side. We ended industry and style. These are basically just like we've tagged assets that we thought match these different industries and styles to kind of give you a head start on a project that you might be working on. Maybe you're doing something uh, broadcast related and you want to look at all the broadcasty type of stuff that we have. And of course, these work with filters as well. So you can just look at materials or you maybe you just want to look at models. Um, so these industry and style are really great way to like jumpstart your creation, uh, your creative process. Let's go into the geometric one and let's just look at textures and you can see all the textures that we have in geometric. So again, um, these are just basically ways to 
jumpstart your your discovery process to get you what you need even faster. And that's really kind of what 1.5 is all about. It's about making you the curator, making playlists and uh, organizing the plus assets how you think they should be organized in terms of your workflow and the kind of things that you want to do. And then also just the, the little quality of life things, auto update and whatnot. We think it's a really strong release. We'd love to hear what you think in the comments. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.